Hello family and welcome to today's video. In today's video I will be giving you some much needed laundry motivation. I basically am starting off with refilling all of our laundry supplies. I had to refill um, the laundry detergent. Next I'll be moving on to the fabric softener and then um, refill a little bottle that I keep with bleach. I've actually already washed all the clothes and now I have my second load in the dryer now. So once I finish refilling all these containers, the next thing is to wait for my dryer to stop and then I'll pick right up with folding laundry with you guys. Comment down below. Do you leave your laundry detergent and fabric softener and bleach in its original container? Or have you purchased some cute little containers and you swish them over like I do as well? Family, I couldn't wait to get to this part of the video. I recently had a dispute with one of my girlfriends because she is single and she was cheating with a married man. Um, I can't express this to women enough. I am a married woman, regardless if I'm married or not. There's certain things that I cannot agree with and that is one of them. Um, I don't think it destroyed our relationship. It just had me put some things into perspective with this young lady. And welcome to my first story time. <laughs> I went so far as to tell her uh, back when I was 25, I decided to date a young man who was 42 unbeknownst to me he too was a married man I was dating this man for about nine months um, I spent time with him on a daily basis we worked together um, at the time I didn't have a automobile so he would pick me up every morning for work if he didn't spend the night and work together and then spend all the evenings together as well a uh, couple nights he would go back over to Pennsylvania um, to help care for his sick mother at the time uh, it was him and his two brothers they would rotate um, as I was saying about nine months into this relationship I received a very irate phone call from a woman who stated that she was his wife this woman was calling me everything but a child of God. I sat there as a young lady who always respected my elders and I listened to this woman's rant. When she finished, I made her, I made it very clear that I am just finding out right now that he is a married man because he never had a ring on his finger and we spent so much time together. So I'm trying to figure out where does the whole wife and kids come in? Oh yeah, two kids. Um, she explained that they were going through some things and I guess in the interim was when, you know, he and I started dating and I was completely against it. Needless to say, I was flabbergasted and the very next conversation I had with this gentleman, 
um, I called it quits. Of course, he kept reaching out to me um, for some time, wanting an explanation as to how if I loved him or liked him so much, can I just cut it off like that? But again, that is something that I will absolutely not condone in. I don't care how much time we invested in one another. Uh, the moment I find out something like that, all bets are off. Um, back to my girlfriend. She is a little upset with me because I was very straightforward. I shot from the hip because that's the only way I know how to do it. Um, although she might be a little upset with me now, <laughs> she will thank me later. And if not, oh well. Let me know your thoughts on that situation. Um, like I said, this was many, many moons ago. I was 25 when this happened. But I learned uh, very early on that karma is nothing to play with. And moving forward, I always made sure that I had all the information I needed going into any relationship. And it was kind of hard um, to separate everything with this young man because he had put me in my first apartment and he gave me money towards my first vehicle. However, um, I did have to disassociate myself from him because what he did to me wasn't fair. He didn't give me the opportunity to make up my own mind. He was selfish in the fact that we were dating and for a long period of time and I was walking around clueless and I think that's very dangerous because that thing could have went all the way to the left this young lady could have found out my information she could have uh, come up on me unannounced and things could have just had a turn for the world so yeah again let me know your thoughts on um, how you would handle advising a girlfriend who insists she wants to mess with a married man. Now that I got all that out the way, <laughs> I don't know, where's my manners? I apologize. Allow me to take this time to introduce myself to anyone who may be new on my channel today. Hello, my name is Wanda. We are the Amechi Tribe. We are a family vlogging channel who likes to bring cooking, cleaning, laundry motivation, grocery hauls, day in the life, and just anything family related. It is no accident that you landed on our channel today and we welcome you with open arms. Do me a favor, leave us a comment so that I can properly welcome you to the Amechi Tribe and share our channel out with your family and friends as well as on your other social media platforms. I look forward to chatting it up with you in the comment section. For all my day ones, thank you so much for being here again today for yet another video. I truly appreciate you. A big thank you to everyone for hanging in there with me while I was dealing with my recent dental issues. I would like to say that I am uh, almost 100% um, my mouth says otherwise because I still have some tender spots and there's still lots of food that I cannot partake in yet but overall I feel great uh, it's been a long time since I've been able to sit down and talk with you guys either through um, uploads or on my lives so I am happy with where I am right now and I will be going live again with you guys real soon so that we can reconnect thank you thank you thank you for all your prayers and well wishes I truly appreciate you I put away already. 
because I had a few of my clothes, just a few things I needed to wash, so I threw them in with the kids, and I don't normally do that, but it wasn't enough to run a load, so here we are, the air is all folded, and I'm going to take it on down and put it away. The kids are actually sleeping, so I'm going to do this off camera because I don't want to disturb them. <laughs> 